Okay, here we have the next segment in my getting the electronics working. I finally got the motors working with the uh, controllers from uh, Automation Technologies. Uh, the issue I had was with the wiring uh, for bipolar. The documentation on the smaller motor wasn't very clear, so I had to check it all with a voltmeter. So now I'm taking moving on and moving on with the uh, Mach 3 motion card. This is a three axis uh, card. Um, actually, it's a uh, yeah, three axis, and then it also has a I think an extra fourth axis here, and then I think there's a separate piece here for the uh, spindle controller if I ever upgrade the motor to an external spindle. Um, I have an e-stop switch here set up, uh, and then I also have one of the limit switches configured as well. Uh, this is a Honeywell limit switch and just a uh, master car uh, reset uh, or you know safety stop or e-stop switch. So this is how it works. Uh, I got this one going to e-stop little focus here there we go and then they both go to the ground zero volts and then the uh, limit switch I'm right now just running on X home and then it shares the same uh, ground essentially zero volts is ground in this world I guess and so here's the software the diagnostic page Right here is where it shows all the external inputs and their status. So what I'll do here is here's the e-stop. Right now it's not in e-stop, so I'll press it in. Now that's enabled the e-stop alarm. Everything would stop in the controller. And you can see there's the signal from the e-stop switch uh, flashing away. So I'll uh, put that back. on and then the way the limit switch works is you can adjust the angle of this wheel around the spindle and uh, if you can hear it that's the switch and then we'll go back over to the computer and you can see it engage there on the screen using the uh, in this case which is the uh, X home um, but I'll probably end up using these other inputs here for the high-low uh, ends for the uh, mill when I get it, everything screwed together. Um, so it has this, it came with this uh, cover here for the boot, little boot uh, load thing that goes together. There's actually an o-ring on it here that goes around it. If you can see it, I don't know how clearly that is being shown here. Let's see if I can get a better picture of it. You can sort of see it. I can just move it over here. There we go. So if we just go over here, you can see the O-ring that goes around there. There's a separate ground lead. I'll probably run a ground in the bundle that goes from here. I'll actually buy some uh, three or four wire. Uh, already in a sleeve and then uh, I'm not sure what you use the other two ports here for but these two are already grounded whereas these are not grounded and they only connect when the, the switch engages so I'm not quite sure how that works but that's how we got working with the Mach 3 on the computer and that's how it's connected right now